Have you ever wondered what happens when a pumpkin decomposes? Like how long does it take and what's happening? Well, I definitely did. Oh, it smells! It smells! Finally wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. All right, we are gonna do the most epic time lapse ever. We have this pumpkin, which we've grown in our yard. So it was all summer to grow it. It's massive. And now we're gonna carve it out, see what it looks like time lapsed. So that was eight weeks ago, just after Halloween. And I didn't anticipate how long it was going to take. I'm gonna fill you in on what actually happened with this decomposition. But first, let me show you the time lapse. Let's watch this thing decompose. show you a few things that you might not have seen. You wanna go look at the pumpkin time lapse? Check this out. First things first, let me explain this setup, which I will admit right now is not my best work. Shanty town. I know, we built a shanty, shanty town, town to um, cover the pumpkin here. Okay, so the goal here was to take this camera and capture the main pumpkin time lapse. So really what I wanted was this camera to see only woods in the background, no messy tarp. Only problem was that this camera started to glitch out and on occasion went a few days at a time without taking any pictures, which meant that I actually missed the main collapse with this camera, which was a huge bummer. Fortunately, I had this GoPro right here and I had this GoPro right here capturing a lot of what was happening and they did really well because even if there was a power outage, they have batteries in it, so there's a little bit of a battery backup. And you can mostly see what's happening. It's just the background was less than ideal. Another thing I was not anticipating was the amount of rain. I did lift off the electricity off of the ground, but it was, um, it was a little bit sketchy. Sketchy. But now back to the pumpkin. I mean, look at it. It, it collapsed, but it hardly rotted at all. And it's mid-January right now. Not, it's not rotted like I have seen I them think the cold. I think the cold weather obviously played a part in not creating the rot. Yeah. I think, you know, it's basically being in a fridge mm -hmm. outdoors here because it has been really cold, but this is amazing. Now this sets up a whole new set of questions, mainly under which circumstances is this thing going to rot faster? And more on that in the future. And what I was really wondering, where are all the animals? Seeds are all oh, broken. Oh, chick, things somebody, have eaten somebody, them. Somebody, somebody ate those. What do you think ate the seeds? Are those opened? Yeah, yeah. chick. Mm -hmm. Under closer inspection, we did have some of the seeds eaten by birds and squirrels, particularly my Eastern gray squirrels, and the red cardinals, but nothing really ate the main pumpkin. The only animals eating this pumpkin are these slimy, slimy slugs. And you can see them in the time-lapse if you zoom in. But other than that and a few earthworms, there really wasn't a lot around the pumpkin. 
Look at the days the pumpkin froze though. You can see it change color, and then when it thaws, it changes color again. It's so cool. Also, if you pay attention to the mouth of the pumpkin, you'll see that it seems to be decomposing a lot quicker, and I'm assuming that's because it's sitting on top of the soil. So what are the takeaways? What can we learn from this pumpkin decomposition? Well, clearly, it collapsed in on itself, and it was dehydrating. I mean, it is not a big pumpkin anymore, but at the same time, I mean, we're just looking at a mushy pumpkin. We're not actually seeing a pumpkin full of mold. Uh, there are hardly any animals eating it. So it makes me wonder, what are the factors that might make it decompose and rot faster? This means I'm gonna have to do a much bigger time lapse, a much bigger experiment. So leave your comments down in the description below about what you think I should change. Maybe things that I didn't notice besides just temperature and leaving it on the soil. As always, thank you to my patrons who are allowing me to create these videos, not only the time lapses, but the wildlife basics, the bushcraft basics, basically videos about how to interact and learn about the world around you. It's just like a balloon that's on top. Uh, Did you put the rocks on there? No. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, oh ew! Okay, see you in the next one. Oh, nasty, nasty. <laughs> Gross. Ooh, look at this thing.